Seriously, I'm such a lightweight. I think I'm drunk. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. <laughs> Sounds disgusting. Woo! I wish I could see you guys' faces while I'm answering these questions. Hi, this is Tracy Ellis Ross. I play Grace Davis in the upcoming High Note, and I'm here with BuzzFeed playing Truth or Wine. Uh, so what was my first impression of my High Note co-star, Dakota Johnson? Uh, Dakota and I actually went to dinner way before we started the film. Uh, we had a good chit chat, we had wine. I don't know, we had like, a, we had a lot in common and we talked forever. So I had a great uh, warm and fuzzy first impression. Were there any parts in your portrayal of Grace Davis in the high note that were inspired by your mom, my mom, Diana Ross? I'm gonna say truth, no. Nothing in this um, role of Grace Davis, nothing in this movie was inspired by my mom. I know I understand the intrigue. I understand the curiosity, but nope, nothing. If I could only watch Blackish or Girlfriends for the rest of my life, which one would I choose? Oh God, I might have to drink wine. I'm gonna drink wine. I'm drinking wine because I wanna drink the wine. Hmm? Because both shows are so good, so iconic, and so funny that why or how could I ever choose? Which one of the members of Girlfriends would I choose to be handcuffed to for 24 hours? <laughs> oh my God, okay. I'm gonna say Golden. Golden Brooks. I know Golden cooks really well. Golden is hilarious. I bet you Golden would be really snuggly. I feel like Golden and I, like, I don't know, she's got like that warm, fuzzy feeling. Not that Jill and Persia don't. I feel like she would be respectful of my privacy. I would be respectful of hers. I'm gonna say Golden Brooks. I hope this never happens though. I don't wanna be handcuffed to anybody for 24 hours. <laughs> How do I think Joan, Tony, Maya, Lynn, and William from the show, so not who they are in real life, but their characters would be handling quarantine? Woo! <laughs> I think Lynn would be ignoring it. Uh, she'd be one of the people that are on the news that you're just like, seriously, what are you doing? Go home. I think Tony would have like some like bejeweled and bejazzled um, face mask. I think William would be like terrified and never leave his house. Like he would be like, even after like the lockdown, there's a vaccine, all of that, and like William would still be <laughs> quarantined. What would Joan be doing? I think Joan would be pretty freaked out. She would have like a sanitizing station outside her house that was like, you know, a system in place with gloves and everything and like maybe a hazmat suit. A little bit like Tracy. Maya would be the girl that was like, the one that was like calling every five minutes, telling us some like new something or other, new this, new conspiracy theory, new. Maya would be like lost on the dark web of like what's happening here. That's really good actually. <laughs> In Girlfriends, your character Joan ends up with Aaron Waters. Was there any part of you that wanted to end up with Will, wanted her to end up with William? I'm gonna tell the truth, no. I feel like Joan and William tried it. Eh, didn't work. I wish I could see you guys' faces while I'm answering these questions. <laughs> Which of Bo's children on Blackish are you most similar to? Oh. Oh, I'm gonna say Tracy is most similar to Devante. Just cuddly and cute. <laughs> If you could steal the wardrobe of any fictional movie TV character, who would you choose? I think I would steal Tracy Chambers' clothing from Mahogany. Can you imagine that orange satin kimono dress? Can I also steal the hair? I'd like to steal full looks. Which credit would you erase from your IMDb? I don't know. I'll just drink some wine. I don't regret any of my roles though. What's a role that you auditioned for that went to someone else? The script was called Mixing Nia. God, I wanted it so badly. It was back in the beginning of my career before Girlfriends, before Lyris' Lounge, before any of it. And it went to, I don't know why I can't think of her name. She was the sister on The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Karen Parsons, she got the part. And they said, she's famous, you're not. Next. 
Would you ever consider taking a break from acting and releasing an album? I'm gonna say truth, and I don't see why I would have to take a break from acting. I say do both. Seriously, I'm such a lightweight. I think I'm drunk. Um, given the choice, would you give up your skincare for the rest of you, your life or your hair products for the rest of your life? That is so tough. I would give up my skin products for the rest of my life. I'm choosing the truth. I think hair, my hair is harder to support. And now that I have created pattern and have finally found my dream products that make my hair juicy and joyful and my curls popping, I would not be able to give that up. But with good sleep and a lot of water, I could like coast on the skincare. If there was Tracy Ellis Ross, the perfume, what would it smell like? It would smell like roses, dirt in the good way, not like dirty dirt, like earth. Mac and cheese, <laughs> sounds disgusting and pheromones. That sounds terrible. A friend of mine told me I smelled like oatmeal. I was like, that's, that's awful. Which of your siblings would you call to bail you out of jail? I call my older sister Rhonda. My, I think the question is, what did I do to get in there? What was the last text message you sent your brother Evan? Let me look and then we can decide if it's wine or truth. <laughs> the last two text messages are me saying I love you and him saying I love you too. This is so boring. <laughs> Who was the last celebrity you DM'd? I don't, DM'd? Let's look. In the DMs, it all goes down in the DM. Oh, I mean, this is not bad. Mero from Deces and Mero. I posted something for their birthday. Deces and Mero have birthdays like three days apart. Kerry Washington, um, but we just like both Instagram storied each other. Taraji and I, a week ago, I guess you didn't ask for every single celebrity I've ever, I've ever DM'd. <laughs> oh, I DM'd Swiss Beats by accident. <laughs> and he, he answered me. Um, my friend sent me Swiss Beats story and I answered the story and it went into Swiss and then he answered me and I was like, oh, I didn't mean to DM you. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play truth or wine. I had fun. I wish I had been able to drink more wine. I just told so much truth. Check out the high note. I play Grace Davis. She's a grand diva. Put on something special, make it an event. And again, it's Tracy Ellis Ross.